Hi, this is Mary Flower, and the last video I did, it sort of cut out. I paused it because I had a little spill, and so um, I want to show you what I came up with. It, the last one, uh, you saw me paint uh, on here and here and put the letters on. Well, what I did was I just took some um, acrylic paint, like so, and um, I painted... Um, little sections here and around the words and then what I did was I uh, also then I used a gel medium over the top this gloss gel medium which I really like it and so I used over the whole thing and then um, as you can see I painted the words and so forth and then I used this tulip um, you know, like fabric paint I think it is what it is but it's kind of like a puffy paint and I, uh, you can see that I added it in different places here. And I added the little um, googly eyes here. So this is how it turned out in the front. But um, as you can see. And, but I want to add some, something on the side. And I decided to make some uh, large buttons. I know that uh, Jelly Belly's, um, channel she did some of these buttons that were small but I decided to kind of make it bigger and what you need is a, a good um, corrugated cardboard as you can see how thick it is I don't see if I can get the light over here and it's just a piece of corrugated cardboard and what you're going to do is cut out two sizes of um, circles and these don't have to be perfect just uh, cut them out approximately all the same size as you can see they're about the same size as that and then uh, you take a, a smaller one and um, cut it out and a little glue and I'm gonna let this one set but I actually have one that's glued here and I'll show you what I do on that this I used a napkin a piece of a napkin and glued it on and you can still see it's still gluing right here and then I will be taking my big punch and making some holes in this and adding some yarn and this one I used another kind of a napkin too as well and I like this tissue paper and it may work better with the tissue paper better than the napkin because those were a little difficult but I think I'll still like the way they turn out. So the way you start this is um, just start gluing the back and putting it right on there. Then I um, just continue with the glue and yes it's a little messy and like I said, I love to play with glue. And if you get too much, it won't matter because you're going to need extra. And then I just start folding it in, putting glue as I, as I go. A little behind there and just glue it down in there. And giving it plenty of glue because um, you want it to lay down. You almost want to make like a little, you know, like a like a hat shape. See how I'm doing that? And then what I'm going to do with these right here, these three, is I'm going to let those dry. And uh, let me get the glue off my hand. And then I'll show you how to do the... Um, We'll put those on the side when we're done here. I'm going to set them aside while they're gluing. And um, what I'm going to do now is to add some of my children's and grandchildren's art um, to, to this. Be sure to get something that's a good punch because the cardboard's not easy to punch through. But this thing will punch through almost anything. I love it. And so I have a lot of their little... Um, a lot of their little uh, uh, artwork completed here. I've put them um, 
in, um, I've put them together in groups on some of them, and I'll show you why in, with that. But I want to start with, I think, one that I've already put here in the back. And it's so funny. This is my little granddaughter. And I don't know if you can tell this creature, but here's an eye. Here's an eye. This is a nose and this is a mouth. And it's sort of, well, no, sort of kind of creepy looking. I don't know, but it's so cute. And so I'm going to put it in the right in the back. And I think uh, I might leave it as a pocket. Uh, it might be cute because I'm sure I'm going to be getting quite a few other little creatures in here so I'm just gonna go around the edge on this like so so I leave the middle in here and then I'm gonna take this and put it about right here now a little of my um, washi tape come up so it's good to glue it down. I like tacky glue if, the, if your washi tape comes up because it'll just hold it. Anyway, I always can. I always worry about washi tape that maybe in the future it, um, you know, eventually will give. You know, I like to, I like to glue things so that, um, you know, I think to keep it together for you know a hundred years or so. And, you know, some of your ancestors can look at it. Maybe they can fix some of the stuff. But I'm um, glued that down pretty good. And I'll show you some of the other little creatures. And I didn't write her name on this, but most of them I do. I think I'll write it right underneath on this one. But on a lot of them, I'm writing it right on the, the little creature. Now, over here, I have this little waterfall that I made. And it's pretty colorful, like four there. And so what I'm going to do is use some of these black and white pictures that I've kind of clipped them together and I put them on black. I put them on the black paper first. And so I think I, I, I think because they're so colorful uh, that this would be a fun place to put them. I think I'm going to put these on this side. And I found this cute word called gems, and I think I'll put it right there. And these two little cats, and this one under here. So let me see if we can do that first. Just get a little more glue. And so I'm going to start putting a lot of this artwork in my funny whimsical book here. And when I die, they can fight over it, I guess. <laughs> well, I have so many books uh, that I've made and so many things that I've made I'm just going to write a will and and that way everybody gets something because I want everybody to get something and I can they'll have to have a museum or something for me <laughs> I don't know anyway um so I'm going to glue this one completely down um And I, I like this. It came out of a magazine or something. It just says gems. And I thought it would be really, really cute here with these black and white. And these, these pages right here are so colorful that I thought the black and white pictures would probably be the best here. So I'm going to put this one on the first little tier. And I may even write messages to the children in, in this book as well as getting all my funny pictures. Now I don't want to do it clear over because it's going to hang off of it just a little bit. So I'm just going to glue it for right now, right in the center. And this is like a little brontosaurus, I think. With a little, a little creature on top of it. It's really cute. Here, I'll sh show it closer. Isn't that cute? And see, I want to make sure all these things get all the way down. So I'm going to put this little creature on the first tier like that. Pull it down just a little bit because it's... See that? And just put a little more glue on it. And over here is well. And... Tacky glue is great, but it takes just a minute for it to really hold. Then, that's be the first one. 
and then on the second one a little teeny bit more on that that head there we go then on the second tear I have this funny little I don't know what it is but it's a funny little thing I like it it looks like it kind of like a a caterpillar or something I'm not really sure but I just think it's really cute so I'm going to put glue on the back of it but I like putting a uh, black it on black because it's kind of like it frames in the whole picture and makes it really stand out so so I'm going to put it on the second waterfall which will be about right here see so we have that one and then you go over here and here's the second one make sure this word's glued down sometimes it'll curl a little bit because i use a lot of glue but it won't come up then on the third one i have well actually on the bottom one i'm going to put another one here but down here i think i'll put this funny little uh creature and it's actually um i think i want to see if i can take this name off because um, I, because of the fact that I'm gluing it down, I don't want it to, uh, I can put glue all over this one now. So I want that name to show who did it. My, my son Jacob did it when he was little, and he's quite a good little artist. In fact, he, he, I mean, he, when he got older, he, he did a lot of good stuff. Uh, while I'm doing this, I want to tell you about this book called Ra Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. Um, I used to teach from that book, and I'm just going to recommend that book because what it is is um, your, your, your left brain sees things a certain way, but the right brain just sees it as it is. Your left brain's trying to, I mean, your right brain's, yeah, your left brain's trying to figure out the dimensions or what it should be, but your right brain just sees it just how it is, and there's where it bends, so, and so it's a really, really good book. It's called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. I read it years ago, and I taught from it, and I learned a lot from it. It's a really, really fun um, book to release your creativity. So there you go. I have little places here. The little the little waterfall has several. And then when I get another one that's black and white, I, in fact, I may put them on this other side too. I'm not really sure. This one needs to be glued down a little bit too. Right there. So there it is on the waterfall. Now over here, I have these. My daughter made these funny little, oh, I don't know what they are, like little... I would say like bunny or something. And I think I'll put one there and one there. Let me get some more glue. And this book has been a lot of fun. And it's also been fun looking for uh, the artwork from the parents and uh, my old files. I keep a, I kept a file um, a filing cabinet I kept uh, several every year in school I kept a whole you know a folder full of stuff that they did and so I can just kind of pull from that now some of the stuff is in here that has been fragile and I had to had to do a little my own interpretation because some of it's coming out of their history books and I kind of want to keep some of that original uh, artwork in their history books because it writes about it but um, to make this funny book I um, had to do a mm, you know just copying or um, you know drawing over the lines that are that are um, pencil lines making them a little darker so you can see so I'm going to put this little guy right here with his little tail here one looks sort of like a bunny rabbit and one looks more like a cat here. I'll show you. And since there's a lot of color in this, I, I'm probably just going to leave it unless I write things in it, which I'll probably end up doing a lot of writing. And, and it's fun to leave places to, you know, 
on the even on the backs of some of the creatures you can if you're putting them out in as a tag you can write on them and um tell about them and you know a little bit about what they did at that age or something you know and or you can just write a message telling them how much you love them and so here's the cat i'm going to put him about like this so i really like this because these these are black and white and the the color behind it especially the orange and yellow this really makes it stand out and i just will like the way it looks so i'm probably just going to leave this just how it is and the little tears well i'll add some information or something so i really like that so i put one back here and i uh put some here now i've got a couple more i want to put in here so it'll give you an idea of how I'm a kind of accomplishing this whole little thing here. I'm going to pull from my... Okay, this one was a little a little uh, brontosaurus, and he's eating from a tree. And I, there was one over here. So remember this, this one right here. He, th this is, this, uh, my grandson made this one and this one. So I think that... I want to put it close, but I'm not really sure. I don't really. Oh, this is some more. I'll put those in there too. Um, I'm not really sure where I want to put this. See how cute that turned out. And I'm going to paint on this one too as well. Uh, let's see. I kind of wanted a, a, a page that didn't have. Oh, I like this. See that? How it complements the color. I think I'll I'll put it right there. And I like the background on this already. It's almost like a, I don't know what it is. It looks a little bit organic. And so, and it's red. And it's kind of opposite color of this, this stark kind of lime pretty green here. So, so I'm going to put this one. And this is kind of like it's coming off the page a little bit. So I'll put it right there. I want to, this is the bottom of the tree. I want to make sure there's enough paint down, I mean, glue down there. And then this little brontosaurus is kind of like eating from the tree itself here. So I need to kind of position that kind of how he had it. And so I just looked at it just a second ago and so. And I, on this one, I'm keeping the original piece of artwork so that, um, and so I just use my, a little bit of my own interpretation here with this one, because I didn't want to cut that one apart. And I'm, and I'll be putting that in the envelope that's in here, like I showed before. Okay. Yeah, let's see. We want to position it about like this. And I want to get under the head here. And I probably could use the bottle and squeeze it out. But like I said, it's always fun to play with the glue. So hold that one down for a minute. Keep my sticky fingers off of the top of it. And get rid of this glue here. I'm going to pause for... No, I'm not going to pause. I think I can do this without. Okay. So I have some other funny pieces that I want to go in here. Um, one of them... Let's see if I can find it right now. I like I like this. But the pocket goes this way. So I think I want to take this funny little guy right back here. I've got him. But he may be too big. Yeah, he's too big. In fact, there's a little spot right here. I wanted to put him in the front. I thought, well, no, not even there. I think it was this one. There we go. I think he looks cute right there. So, because <laughs> that looks funny. I like it up. Okay, then I have my son. 
he made a cute little um thing here oh i did i oh i kept that gotta put that jacob on there too okay um on this one i'm trying to think where i wanted to put this it wasn't there i think it was here i wanted to put this little guy right here and my son's name right there so but this one i'm gonna have to bend it a little bit to, in order to get it kind of on the both here anyway this this book's really been a lot of fun and then i'm working on another one and i'll be doing that uh tutorial i think step five pretty soon i might even be able to get to it tonight Actually, it is night. It's about, oh, it's about 10 o'clock here. And so, and what he's doing here is apparently he was um, comparing some kind of um, dragon or monster here to some, uh, maybe the teachers or something or to somebody else's. Because this one says it has lumps and mine does not. So the other one had lumps. It says it doesn't breathe. It doesn't breathe. Breathe fire. Mine does, and it doesn't have a long neck. Actually, a little bit there, but maybe the other one had a really long neck. I don't know. But this one's going to go right here. And I got to take off this piece of tape. So some of these little creatures I am uh, going to be gluing in, like as you can see right now. And then on some of them, they will be more like tags or inserts or something. But I've tried really hard on the pictures that, um, that uh, don't have the name on the back, if I know the name. I try to put the name close to it, but if or right on the little creatures, you know, small or something. And I prefer, uh, if when, whenever I can, to use their own signature because it's a lot cuter. But, you know, some of my grandchildren were kind of small when I did this. So I'm going to put this one about right here. And I kind of like this because these uh, funny scales over here. It's a good place. And then I have his name. This is, he wrote this himself, which I like. And so I'll probably put this right here, really close to it. And then if I want to later, I can do some um, painting around it. I like, I kind of like it the way it is right now, but I may put some more blue on it. So... I've uh, put some of these things in here. Let's see how my little buttons are doing. They're getting they're getting dry. I'll wait a little bit longer, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with those. So that one is there. Then got to get some of this glue off my hands. Okay, I have a couple other ones, and uh, this one, I can't remember who made it. Oh, this one's my grandson, and I think they're both really cute. He colored them, and they went together, and so I'm going to put them on a page together. Let's see, where would be a good place for this cute little, these cute little guys? I kind of like this. Sometimes with these, you have to figure out a spot, but you got to make it so the pages turn and stuff. So, hmm. I kind of like plain when when it's so colorful like this. I prefer to um, have the background a little plainer. And when it's not colored, when it's black and white, it looks cute on the all the colors.
So, let me get some more glue here. It's sure fun playing in the glue, right? Okay. And I use packaging little cups to hold glue. Like this was the front of something. You know, it's made out of plastic. And it's kind of fun to, it's kind of a, a good way to keep the glue. So let me put this one here. If my gluing takes too much of your time watching, you could fast forward it just a little bit and so you don't have to watch me play unless it's fun to watch me play in the glue. <laughs> And there's probably an easier way to glue like this. A lot of people will squeeze it. And, I, you know, I do squeeze it out too. But um, sometimes with things like this, I like to I like to get it a little more smooth on it. And I end up using my finger anyway. So, so I'm going to put this one about right here. He's a fun, I hope you can see that. Maybe it's down too far. Um, there's that little guy. And I think he's fighting this little this little tiny dragon here. So I need to put him up here. Because I think he had him kind of at an angle like that. So he's got a sword here and has all these weird legs and stuff. Let me show you what it looks like. I just love their little drawings. Isn't that funny? He did that when he was about, I don't know, a few years ago. He's uh, 12 right now. So he was, I don't know, 7, 8 when he made this funny little character. Uh, then, um, okay, let's see. I'm going to stop right there because I have a lot of characters to put in there. But I'm going to stop to show you what I'm going to do with these it looks like it's dried a little bit it's kind of got a little bit but that's okay we'll do the one with that's dry here so what i want to do is i want to take this and put the uh the largest um hole there and just basically put a place where you want two holes to be right there and right there maybe and I'm going to add some um, yarn or some, you know what? It's not going to, that's not going to work. It's not big enough. That's okay. Um, let me pause this because I'm going to, well, during my pause, I decided that um, they are not quite dry enough to work. So I'll go back and put some more creatures in this little guy here. And um, hopefully tonight... I will uh, continue working on this book and show you what I'm doing on it. So it'll be the next step, I'm hoping, to get to that. This'll, this is going to be two, um, two little sh videos as it is. The first one was short because I had a problem with it. So I have some other little guys in here. And some of these, I think I'm just going to put right in the book without um, gluing them in. So I'm, I think there's several places in here that um, I wanted to put this one. I think there was a little pocket here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. No, that one's not big enough. Oh, maybe he'll fit down in here. Let's see. This little... Yeah, see, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping to get him down in there. Yeah, is it that, that funny? That's my little, looks like SpongeBob or something. And then I have this one. And I thought this one would be a cute place right here. And let's see. And I have several more here think that oh yeah here's here's this funny little worm thing that my granddaughter made and I thought this would be a cute place to put this right here 
because it's tall and I'm probably going to have to fold it again so we'll put it down in in here there we go because I had this tall pocket there and let's see if what else we have let's see I have a funny little a funny little guy because this is actually pennies too and I think I had a little spot right here that I could put this little creature right there. I thought that was kind of cute little place right there. So then I had the little snail. Oh, I know where I wanted to put this other little snail. Back here where I had, because it's almost black and white. And uh, so I wanted to find that place where I had the, the uh, waterfall type uh, thing right here, because I think I can put this um, in here. So I was going to put it right there. Because, and this is, um, this is Carter's. Let's see if I can get this off first. Okay, I'll pause that just a minute, just so I could put the glue on it so you're not watching me do nothing but put glue on here this one's coming down so I'll glue that down so there you go see that one is sort of black and white it has a little color light color on it but I like this page I like the way this is laid out now because the tears all have a lot of color in here the little uh, waterfall section and um, so I like that because then there's a lot of color behind it like that okay so We'll go on to another page here. Let's see, I want to make sure this is glued down real good. Okay, now I have some other little funny creatures. And this one's kind of a tall, funny one. And I think I could put it in here somewhere. But i got to find the place that complements it. So, uh, And like I said, when there's this much color on them, I prefer to put it in a spot where, and I think that one's a really good place. So, so I paused it for a minute so I could put the glue on it to save some time. And I think that I want to put him right here because I think he has got some nice colors on him. Uh, purple. Uh, and somebody used purple crayon and I think, I think this is Carter's, but I'm not sure. Uh, I can't even tell who the who the little uh, person wrote on this, but it's really quite cute. I think. See that? No, oh, I like him a lot. I'm gonna put him there. And I even might write funny little, you know, creature verses on these. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something. Let's see. I have that one. I have another little purple. Almost looks like a funny little donkey of some sort. Let's see where we can put him. This has a name on it. doesn't even have a name on it, but it looks good right there. So I'll pause it again to put glue on it. So I paused it so I could put glue on it, and I think I'm going to put him right here. Now, after these are all in... You know, any kind of extra painting you do around it. I like to try to give the focus to the piece of art itself. So I don't want to um, do anything that distracts too much from it. Because the little art pieces are so cute. And I think this one might even be cute right there, won't it? I think so. Okay. I'll pause for another minute. Okay, so I put glue on this one. And... And this is, if you can see it, these are his two little eyes, his cheeks, his nose, his hair, his mouth. And I'm not really sure what this is here, but I think I kind of like it right here on top of this orange paper, even though this is kind of a yellow tube. It looks really cute on here, so I think that's where I want to put him. So, anyway, I think I'm going to stop there and uh, work with the buttons on the side here for a minute and 
so we've we've got quite a few little characters in here so far and I still have a lot to go and so look at the eyes aren't those cute they move <laughs> okay um so here's the little buttons and I'm going to take my kit right here and this is my punch tool and get my piece of foam here now you may not even have to punch this i think that this big needle that comes in this will go straight through it being cardboard so i'm going to take uh, different colors here. I'll start with uh, red. I kind of like that one. And I like this needle because it's nice and big. So I put up approximately at the same spot down here. And Yep, it's going to go through pretty easily. It's going to go right there. And come back. And then I'm going to uh, tie it the other way too as well. Hold on. Then I like to leave a little extra on this. And... Do the same thing going the other way. And just cut it off. And we're going to tie it. Going the other way. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. See, that way, there's a lot of strings coming off of that, but I think I'll cut them shorter. These scissors are terrible for um, fabric and stuff. They're my... But, I, but they're really good on the cardboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is these... Uh, I'll, I'll do the other ones as well, but... I'm going to put this one in here. Now this is going to be, I can't lay it on this side, so I have to be careful. So it's going to take a lot of, a lot of glue here. And you could just use some uh, hot glue on this, which is probably the best thing to do because then it'll glue almost instantly. And I'm going to put one in the middle like that. And then I will put the other two, one here and one here but it looks really really cute so you can see they are going to be really fun on there so what i'll do is i'll leave this and um when i get the rest of this finished i will show you um i'll let it glue right there put something under it so it doesn't slip down and um anyway i hope that was helpful i hope you enjoyed that and um give me a thumbs up